Welcome, everyone, to Talk Around Riyadh, the Wheel of Time showcast. I am your host, Joe Perry, here with my co-hosts, Jen Isgro, Tom Kakoza. How you doing, Jen? I'm a little unsettled. I don't like this at all. I need to hear it the exact same way every time. But um, I'm doing okay. Um, you know, we've been getting a lot of rain in our area yes. these past like two weeks. Thanks so to, I don't. Uh, I think last time we recorded on Thursday, right? Last tropical week? storm Betty. Or did we record on Wednesday? No, Debbie? we did record on Friday. What is the tropical storm's name? Debbie. I Debbie. Think. Debbie. I think sorry. It's Debbie. Yeah. But I probably didn't mention this because I didn't know anything had happened. Did I tell you guys that I drove through like a big puddle on Friday night last last week? No. No. So I, but by Costco for anyone who knows the area. <laughs> Down the block from me is a Costco. Right by Costco, there's always like a very big puddle. I said I wasn't going to go that way. I went. I drove through it. The car, everything was fine. And then when we went to start the car Saturday morning, it didn't start. So the entire week, I've had no car. But Dan changed the battery today, and that fixed it. So I don't actually know if the water played a part in it or not, or if I've just been getting blamed for it for the entire week. But... <laughs> Thankfully, it only costs us like $150 to fix and not the entire engine yeah. being. So um, I don't think those would be related unless your battery is like underneath your car. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, nothing happened when I drove through the water. So I was like, phew, that's good. And that Could was just it. Could be and a then, coincidence. Yeah, I think, I think it was. When was the last battery purchased? Do you, what do you know when you probably n Probably never. Probably well, the then, same battery from the beginning. Yeah, then definitely. You'll yeah. probably do for a new battery. Yeah. Right. The 1987 Cutlass Supreme, too. So no. it's pretty old. <laughs> <laughs> no. Forgot to leave uh, that part. How you doing, Tom? Uh, I'm doing all right, Joe. Uh, though the, the unsettled weather here in uh, the Northeast has... Uh, I haven't had a good night's sleep in like over a week. So I'm really tired. From but the weather? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't sleep. Uh, the, I don't know, the air pressure or whatever. Uh, so um, <laughs> what? The oh, I oh, the air pressure. You said, I'm sorry. Yeah, what did you think I said? Uh, I don't know. Nothing, because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the air yeah, pressure. Yeah, yeah, the air pressure like, prevents you from sleeping. Have you ever heard of somebody who's like, oh, my knee hurts. A storm must be coming. Yeah, right? that I've heard. Like of. I've never heard of right. the air so, pressure from the storm. That's it's, what that is. It's like it's, the, you you feel the you you feel the uh, the 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 change in the weather on the your, drop your, in your, air pressure. Yeah, or, or like whatever. naive. I've right. Yes. I, I, oh, I can, oh, can, oh, oh. Okay. I can listen <laughs> to the oh, wind. That's what I mean. Can't the sleep. When, right. So when uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'm I'm uh, I'm going to push through tonight. Because uh, I think we have a fun episode, Joe. Do you, this is the first yeah. time I've ever heard anyone tell me that the air pressure is affecting their sleep. So, really, anyone on this podcast, you're, if you're listening, please reach out to us, comment, uh, yeah. email us. If the air pressure has ever prevented you from sleeping, and you are not climbing, uh, you know, Mount Everest. Mount Everest. <laughs> Wait, but what do you feel? <laughs> I can or, breathe, or, or in a submarine. <laughs> I just, it's just, I, I can't stay asleep. Like, I feel that I can't stay asleep. My son's in the same boat. I don't know. I, did I, he, say, I, did I he like, tell you the air pressure is affecting him as well? No. Uh, <laughs> he didn't tell me that the air pressure, and I'm not saying it's necessarily the air pressure, because I don't know what it is, but I feel like plenty of people are like, oh, like the air, like the air is heavy. I can't breathe. I can't sleep well. You know, whatever it is. Oh, well, if, if it's, it's like a thing. humid, like you, you're talking about like the humidity maybe is hard to breathe and, you know, when it's warm and humid. Yeah, I, I, all I'm saying is that it's been really, really stormy and here for the last week and I've had a hard time sleeping. I don't know why you're digging into this like it's like a weird thing. Beca we because don't have a lot to talk about today. You are the only today. person I just said, you are the only person I've ever heard who said that the air pressure is affecting I their sleep. I did it. You said the air pressure. I no, never said the did. air pressure. You did. No, I, roll no. it back. <laughs> you never roll it back. I said, yeah, need, I said uh, have you ever heard uh, of somebody who like, said something like, oh, I, I feel a storm's coming. No, that, like, you my said knee. that afterwards. No, and then I you said, you could go Go back oh and listen God. to it, and you said, "Oh, like the air pressure is affecting the thing." And I was like, "I don't know if that's what it is." Now you, you're the Whatever. one who said air pressure first. You're the you the one. 
after what I've This is the episode. This is the episode. This I'm gonna put. <laughs> you're gonna it make all sure. You're gonna make sure. Social media that everybody. He's gonna like knows. find you saying the words air pressure. <laughs> He's gonna put it all in. Yeah. <laughs> I would be like. Air Joe, pressure. the air pressure is <laughs> making me not sleep. I'm going to enlist Gemini to help me out on that one. So you know it'll be good. My <laughs> voice is my password. Yes, Holger, it is a slow, a slow what news day. Um, but there is some news that we wanted to talk about before we got into our main episode topic. And I'll, I'll pass that off to Jen because this, this is some exciting news. We do have some exciting news, guys, and it's hashtag hen news. <laughs> so we know um, Juliet's had a couple of losses of hens recently, but there's some good news today because she has adopted a new hen. Aww. So the post on Instagram says, here is the adorable and very chatty new arrival, a friend from my very stressed Perry hen. Chosen from 2,500 hens, and most were in the barn as it was raining. A lot of hens. She was right in front of me as the door opened. Hashtag hen news, hashtag rescue hens are the best hens. So there's a couple of pictures of the beautiful new hen, who does not appear to have a name yet. So if anyone wants to throw out a hen-related, a wheel, I should, or I should say wheel of time-related <laughs> hen name, now would be the time to do that. Um. Yeah, a lot of the easy ones were taken already. Yeah, we have um, Avihenda Egwain. Yeah, Nine, I think right. it's just Nine 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 um, we need some we need some good wheel of time related head names. I don't have anything. I know. Um there's there's Hensalam? No, no. No, <laughs> no, no. Um Hemorrhage? Hemorrhage? That's good. Barahen? Hemorrhage sounds like you got, you need Mo, a, a, Mo a special pillow Mo, to sit down. Mogeti Mo, Mo Mo hen. Mogeti Mo hen. Mogeti hen. Mogeti hen. Mogeti hen. But I like Mogeti But I like Mogeti hen. Mogeti hen. Eglida. That's a good hen. one, Holger. Yeah. yeah I like Mogeti hen. All right. I'm going let's with that. All right. So, Juliet, if you're listening, that's the name. Everyone, everyone mm -hmm. uh, reply to her message. Yes. With that. <laughs> So it is a slow news time, and I guess this is probably the right time um, oh for boy. news to be slow for the Wheel of Time. So we've got something that we're going to be doing that we did last season um, that we thought was a lot of fun. Um, so we're going to do it again. Um, this is We're going to talk about all of the unknown um, or unconfirmed actors that are supposedly on the show, but we haven't, heard, you know, they haven't been officially um, confirmed by Amazon so um, we're going to go through all of those. I have a list here. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we know about these actors. And we're all going to guess who we think they're going to be in the show. And then, of course, we'll keep track of it. And when the show comes out for season three, uh, we'll go back and take a look at that and see who wins. Whatever. Um, now, a bunch of these people, we have names for them, right? The, the names were kind of given with them. But that doesn't mean we necessarily know who that person is or what that person's role is going to be. So we're, we maybe add a little color to that with, um, with these ones that we know the names of. So I've got a list here. There's about 32 of them courtesy of uh watseries.com. Uh, I scoured their, their website, finding all of these names. Um, <laughs> now we probably won't get through all of these today, but we'll see how many we can get through. And then we'll just, you know, do another episode. How's that sound? I, it sounds good. I have a question though. Yeah, Did sure. you guys um do the ones that were done already? Because I forgot. I thought we were just doing the ones that don't have names. I well, did them all. <laughs> did you do them all. I, I only did, did the ones did, that didn't have. A I did role. the ones that were done already. I did the ones okay. that had not been done yet. All right, all right, fine. I, I did the ones that aren't even there. <laughs> I did all of them. Yeah, I think we could talk about those because some okay. of those people just be some of them 
it's actually more surprising to see their name there because it's like, what's this person doing here at this okay. point in time? Or why they, you know, why is this person who wasn't even in the actual books here or something like that? So, um, so we're going to do it. We're going to talk about all the ones we have here. We're leaving no stone unturned because that's mm-hmm. how we roll here at Talker and Riyadh. Are you ready okay. for the first person? These are in no particular order, except I did try to keep a few of them together because they're connected. Um, so these first two are connected. So I'll, I'll start with the first one. Claire Hope Ashity. A shitty. That's what actually it looks like. <laughs> Probably not. It. Claire, not Claire Hope. Nice. Ashity. 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 Claire Hope Ashity, everyone. Claire Hope Ashity. All right. So she uh, was seen in Prague in May of 2023, which was about a month or so after they started filming, or it could have been a couple of weeks. Um, she was seen in pics um, on social media with Shora and Salome, uh, Gunder, uh, Gunnar Do- Gunnar's daughter. That's right. Gunnar's daughter. I remember this one. Gunnar's daughter. What, yeah, Gunnar's yeah. daughter. Um, which we're going to talk about in a second. Um, so Claire Hope Ashite. Sh- pictures yeah. of Shora and Gun- <laughs> Salome. Who's going first? Prague, uh, May 2023. Nobody's confident. Oh, you'll all be jumping out to go no, first. No, I have a name. Well, so I'm not first, confident, Jen. but I have a name. Since go ahead, read the light here. Tarna. 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 Wow, Tarna Fair. All right, okay. I like I like this one. So you think? So so, elaborate a little bit. Where what what's Tarna doing in? Um. So I was looking at the list. I looked at the list of Aes Sedai who are still in the tower. There's actually a ton of them, but um, I thought Tarna would be somebody that would be in the tower with Elida and Salome, who I have a different person for. And I thought that she would be relevant later on in the show. So that's why I picked her. Ah, Tarna fair. How about you, Tom? What do you, what do you think about this Tarna theory first? Uh, I like it. I was actually thinking something along uh, a similar line. uh, Although I wasn't, Doing time affair, I, I think that 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 kind of works for me. Um, I had her. I didn't have a particular Isodine name, but I had her as one of uh, Elida's. Like you know, when she first becomes uh, when she first becomes Amarlin, she has like a little council of Isodine mm-hmm. who helped her in the coup. Yeah, so I had her as one of those. Ah, oh, uh, like uh. Delana, uh, not Delana. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? I did the same thing. Dan- Danelle, not- right? Danelle. <laughs> like Danelle, yeah. yeah. Um, That's the only I- name I could remember. <laughs> so yeah, just for, uh, for argument's yeah. sake, I will have her be Danelle. Okay. All right. So so um, yeah. Masana Danelle, or just or just Danelle? No, I don't Black think it's just Danelle. Yeah, Danelle. we we don't want to go that far. We're just going to say Danelle. No, oh, in whatever capacity that um, Danelle would be there. Yeah, this is interesting. So I'm going to I'm going to say that this could be a Camelin. She could be somebody in Camelin. Hmm. Right? She doesn't necessarily have to be somebody in the tower. True. Right? Cuz May I think was when Shore was seen at that castle filming those okay. what do we think is, you know, Royal Palace of Camelin shots. So you know, obviously they can film more than one thing in one month, but I'm just going to connect that because it's the only connections I have. And I'm going to put her as somebody in Camelin. Um, but I can't think of anyone in Camelin who she'd be. That's my problem here. Maybe she's one of another noble. Let's say she's mm-hmm. Dylan. I'm going to say she's Dylan. You say she's Dylan? Yeah, Dylan. I'm curious now who you're going to okay. say. Okay. All right. Why? No, well, if these if the first two people are related and you think that they're in the same spot, I'm curious as to who you think the other one is. 
So that is uh, Salome Gunner's daughter. Yes. And she, she, well, here's the thing, though. She filmed in South Africa, according mm. to her agency. Yes. Um, which is interesting. And she's in, obviously, social media pics with uh, Claire Hope Ashute, as we just mentioned before. Um, so that's interesting that she was in South Africa. So does this lead you to believe that she's a character who is potentially in Camelin and Tanchico or the Waste or or the White Tower and Tanchico? Thoughts on that one, Jen? Well, who do you have her as, Jen? I should just let's well, just mine's stick. wrong now. I'm 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 seeing because I if she was in South Africa, then they probably wasn't in the Tower. I thought that she could when, be. when it. When it says pics on social media with Shora and and Salome, I thought that was like all three of them together. Oh, I don't know. I don't think it was explicit. That's what I thought. I don't think I it was know. explicitly clear. Um, well, I don't I'll, think anybody I'll, from what series is listening right now. So I'll give you what I uh, what I had, which is Alviaren. It's a good pick. Alviaren. Probably wrong. Alviaren. Well, no, because... Oh no, all the R and no, we're talking. That's Leandrin. So when you said there's nobody who would be in the White Tower and South Africa, yes, the Black Aja sisters, right? Because they. Well, yeah, yeah, that's right? true. So, um, so I'm going with uh one of the Black Aja for this. Um, we have who do we have already? We have um, well, we'll get to we'll get to Jean, but we also have uh, Joya. We have mm-hmm. Isban cast. Isban. I'm going to say this is uh Chesmo fucking Emery. I think okay. I, I think I picked okay. somebody to be Chesmo Emery in season <laughs> so far. Yeah, I think so. Sh- Okay. Yeah. All right, Tom. Uh I ignored the fact that she was taking pictures with uh <laughs> uh Isadai and I just had cast her as Amis cuz I think she looks like that. Oh. Ah. All right, so she does have very fair skin um, and light-colored hair. Yes. And, of course, the light-colored eyes. I don't know if there's a height here for her. Tall-ish. I don't remember. Tall, tall-ish. Kind, kind of tall. Where's where's t-shirts, t-shirts sometimes? Sometimes. Um, yes. Well, I mean, Wad Siri says I, it's likely either Aiel um, or Aes Sedai, so we, we're all on that same okay. uh, same wagon as they are. Ooh, wagon, maybe something with flashbacks. She could be a flashback. Uh, uh, a, you could be a flashback. A glass columns. I might be a flashback, according to um, Gemini, which can see the future. Maybe I'm the one in, living in the past. All right, so I have Chesma Lemery, Jen has Alviar, and Tom has Amis. That's Salome Gunnar's daughter. Great name. It is a great name once you know how to say it. All right, I'm going to move on to the next one here. We have uh, Ania or Ania Marzen. So she actually ha- had her character's name listed on her CV, and that name was Latra. Mm-hmm. which um, was kind of odd because we have a Latra Posey, right? We've seen her in the first two seasons. Was she in, she was in season two, right? No. No. Okay. Well, so we've seen her universally, in the we've seen her in the first two seasons <laughs> by seeing her in the first season. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. That works. Um, anyway, the odd part, the odd part about this is that Katie Braben, who played Latra in the first season is still listed as playing Latra and as a recurring character on the show. So um, that would lead us to believe that she is going to continue her role as Latra. Now, the thing that we remember about uh, Anya Marson is she is um, a bit older. Well than seasoned. Katie Braben. Yes. So I will say that, right? So what are your thoughts on this? We've got a second Latra. Um, two Latras for the price of one. What does it all mean? It means that we're seeing Latra 
in two different times. So this Latra will be in a Crystal Columns flashback for after the war or the end of the war. Or the end of the the breaking, I guess. Silence. I, I, yeah, I'm I agree about that. I was trying to work in a way where Latra is still alive in the present day and they they meet her in Ruidian, but like actually, Oh boy. But uh, it doesn't make any sense. I mean it's been three thousand years. It has been three thousand. Yeah, it's like the lady from Titanic. Yeah. It's been, it's been it's been th- I was thinking more of the, the crypt keeper. I was thinking more of the the knight in uh, the last Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I don't um, think Latra is that important. Sorry, Latra. No, I, it, it must be. It must. Be. I, I agree with Jen. I think she's spot on. I think um, this is the. Like you're going to see Latra in uh, either in another cold open or in like the first, the furthest back flashback um, to the Crystal Columns. Then you're going to see uh, this actress as Latra at a much later date. Again, I can say this is probably the scene where the Aiel get charged with uh, taking taking the um, all the Angriel and, and Terangriel uh, and finding a place to safety um i will say this too uh just looking at uh anya and pictures of her when she was younger she does look a lot like um like the actress who was or who played latra in season one so i think that it's not uh too far of a stretch for her to be playing an older version of her uh yeah i would i would agree with that i i think also think she's obviously um latra I don't think they would put two people as the same character unless they actually meant it. So I'm going to stick with that. Uh, Latra, we're going to see you uh, twice. I hope everybody understands and follows that because it could be confusing. Let me ask you a question. If it wasn't Latra, who would it be? If it wasn't Latra. Yeah, if it wasn't Latra. Who would she be? Who would she be? Um, I'm going to keep her in the flashbacks and I will make her the old Aes Sedai who like helps found Roydian. The one who like, there's like, like when they get to Roydian and they like set it up, there's still some like Aes Sedai who are like very ancient who kind of let them know like this, these are the rules of the place and like the peace will be here and and this is what you're going to do. Gotcha. Had Swain. Whoa. <laughs> ah. Throwing down a gauntlet. I don't know. There we if go. If I had to. Man, you can't put Cad Swain and the Sea Folk debuting in the same season. <laughs> you got to hurry up and debut everybody just in case. Yeah, I guess True. so. Yeah, right. <laughs> Shut uh, them all down. Lotra's for everybody. It's the first time we agreed on anything ever. I'm not re- I'm not ready to go against Watt series and any of these. <sighs> No, it's right on the CV. It's not even like yeah. um, we'd have to be going against their um, resume. Yeah, their representation. All right, next up we have uh, Mr. Anthony K. Now, he's suspected. He's not. They're not so sure about him, uh, Watt Series. So remember back in April uh, last year, Rafe had posted that video of like the headshots of all the actors from, mm-hmm. you know, the ones that we knew, but we, we happened to get a glimpse of like the bottom, the tops of some of the, the headshots mm-hmm. of some actors and people were identifying them. And, and Watt series had some fans on their discord who were able to identify Anthony, Anthony K as one of those headshots. Um, he was also spotted in a photo. Uh, I, uh, Sorry, he was also spotted. Oh God, I can't speak, man. I'm having trouble today. It must be all. It must be the pressure. <laughs> it's the air it's pressure, the air man. Pressure. It's the air pressure. It's making your tongue heavy. <laughs> um, he was spotted in a photo with other cast members: uh, Priyanka, Jennifer Chan Garcia, Kate, Kate Fleetwood, Ragnar Ragnos, and Maya Simonson. All right. So there was some speculation about him. I think when this was discovered connected mm. to mm-hmm. uh, Emmanuel Imani potentially not yeah. returning to the show. 
but I believe he is returning to, for this season. I think he, he is. is. Well, hmm. it's on, I think it's on his CV that he's in season three. I think that's what somebody said. It's not he, on Watt series, though, for season three. No, but that that section isn't updated. Oh, boy. <laughs> Get on it, Omar. <sighs> um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to this one. This is a tough one. I mean, is he taking over as as um, Yvonne? What if like a flashback or something, what if there's like a, a last time on the Wheel of Time that includes him? Would that count as him being in season three? How would like they? on his resume. Oh, oh, you mean Emmanuel Imani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, this guy is I new, I, I new Avon. That's a great question I that I don't know the answer. Should I ask Gemini? No, don't okay. waste your time with Gemini. Okay. In September of 2025. <laughs> when the episode um, one airs for season three of The Wheel of Time. Oh brutal, what? brutal. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to say it is Yvonne. He looks a lot like him. I mean... There is a resemblance. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go gonna, out there. I got nothing else. That's why. And he's in so, pictures with the right people. Yeah. A few, a few of the Aes Sedai and a couple of Aiel. Makes sense. Um, yeah. I had, just because I, I had, I think when this first came out, we all thought that, but then there was in, indications like you said that that uh Yvonne was not recast so i am just gonna i did this for our season two ones which was completely wrong we keep putting this character in the show until he <laughs> is not in the show so i have him as hamar the the leader of the uh-huh. waters okay the oh water i trainer. should uh, you know the what trader of the waters you know what he's probably uh one of the finn Don't worry, no, we'll get no, there. Yeah, we we had the. Well, if if uh, Galad and Gawain are introduced this season, and you know, there's uh, there's still a chance. I think I saying. think this is your last chance, Tom. If he's <laughs> not in this season, well, well, he's he, gone. He, the character dies in the season. So. <laughs> That's also true. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's your last chance, Hamar. It's the last chance. Uh, Jed, your thoughts, Anthony K. That's uh, I have Mazivan. Oh, you New do have Mazivan. Sorry, you yes. have Mazivan as well. All right. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm I'm sticking with the safe though, not really so safe. I guess the 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 uncreative Yvonne as well. I was I was gonna go be so bold to say as he's not in the season, like that was gonna be my answer, but um This guy? Yeah. But he was you know, he's in a photo with all these cast members. I can't imagine unless he's friends with one of them and was in the you know, visiting or in the area or something. I I don't know. I don't know. No, he, but they said that they identified his headshot. Oh, that's right. Yeah, his headshot was there. Yeah. Thank you, Jen. Sorry. You're welcome. Um, because I was about to change it. And now I'm not gonna do that. That's just silly. Just go with your gut. You gotta go with your first instinct. Keeping um keeping it with Yvonne. I'm keeping it even. Okay. You, you got you get it? Yeah, I got it. I got okay. it. Okay. Okay, good. Did you hear that, Tom? I got it. Okay. All right. Andy ne- K was also a baseball player. He was like a farmhand for the Mets. And he played for the Blue Jays for a while. A farmhand? He would he tend the, to the cows? Yeah, he bailed hay. He bailed <laughs> hay for them. He was in the farm system for the Mets. He was uh anyway, that's I that's all I can think of when I hear his name. Um It's not the same Anthony K, is it? No. Oh, I would thought it was. I it was is like, not. Oh, that's <laughs> the way you said it, I thought quite a was, life. Yeah. Yeah. Then we, uh, yeah, he retired happens. and then he went to be an actor. That's all. Yeah. He wasn't, he wasn't so good in baseball. Uh, no, he wasn't that good. Like uh, like The Rock, right? Yeah. No. Was, well, the Rock was well, good uh, at wrestling. No, no, football I'm talking about. Yeah, he was. Oh, he was oh, yeah, oh. yeah, he was. He said The Rock football. left wrestling and became no, an actor. I don't, no, I'm talking about like an actual, like a real sport. No, like Bob Euchre. 
Bob Euchre, there you go. A lot. I mean, obviously, a lot of X ball players do that. So we can we could probably do a whole podcast on it. We won't. But yeah, but we won't. All right, let's move on to our next unconfirmed uh, actor. So this is <laughs> Rebecca Root. So Rebecca Root. Um, this was uh, posted by the Redanian Intelligence on Twitter. This one, mm-hmm. um, and she actually has a character listed on her CV. Here's a baffling one, everyone, and we spoke about this when we first heard it. Uh, Lelaine Akashi, Keeper of the Chronicles. Keeper yeah. of the Chronicles was part of her character description on her CV. Mm. Um, and she also had director Kieran Donnelly listed, um, but I think a lot of times the director is not necessarily the director that they're going to work with on the episode. It could be uh, just... That's the director what, um, from the episode, you know, from the what show. What episodes does she, did he do? Do we know? Uh, Kieran does the, f- is it the last the two? The first two. Oh, just the last two? Oh, he does four episodes this season, yeah, right? Yeah, isn't the first two in the last two? It might be the first two in the last three Or two. three. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I forgot. He does, he's doing four episodes this season. Kieran's back, and I think definitely doing the last two. Um, I should have probably looked this up beforehand, so. That's okay. But I didn't do a good job of it. I so. have an idea, even though I don't think it's going to happen. But I uh, I wonder if it's the same idea. It's probably the same idea. It's fine. You get and to go first. We probably so. talked. We talked about this already. I'm sure a long time ago. But right. uh, we did. So Kieran Donnelly. Uh, two directors. Uh, he's definitely doing block one. Okay, right. so that makes sense. Thomas is yeah, doing block two, mm-hmm. and then yeah, he's uh, doing- the last four. The last four episodes are Donnelly again and Cunningham. Marta, remember Marta Cunningham is also one of the directors. Um. So yeah, that's what we got here. Um, so he's probably doing the last two. I'm gonna guess he's doing the first two and the last yeah. two, but. That doesn't really narrow it down since he's doing half the season. I think it it narrows down to what I what we I thought we talked about this already, but can I can I go? Go for it, yeah, of course. That Lelaine is Egwene's keeper in her ex, in her accepted test. Oh, in episodes one or two of the season. Egwene's. I'm putting this in there. This counts. Okay, put it in. The Queen yeah, Keeper in her acceptance test. Okay. All right. I like it. Tom, do you have any different different No, I have the I exact know. same thing. Really? It's exa- it's exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about this, didn't we? We no, definitely talked we about her character. When she, yeah, then we talked about that, like it could be in an accepted test. I don't know. Just this like, is this this is the biggest evidence to me that a queen, I don't know how, goes from the tower to the waist in this season. Somehow, you don't think that maybe she becomes Elida, Elida's um, keeper? No. Who's alive is oh, I'll be Arn. I'll be Arn. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty sure it's going to be in this season. So, ah, oh, I yeah, you know what? I feel like there's no other way to work her in, right? She has to be. This has to be an accepted test, which means that Egwene's going back to the White Tower, or is it maybe yeah. something she experiences in a dream? Well, I was maybe it's I, a prophetic dream. It could be a dream. I was also going to say when she goes to Iridian. Yeah. She doesn't go. Oh, well, she doesn't go through the cop through the. No, yeah, she but she could, and that could through. be like her accepted test. Yeah. A surrogate accepted know. test. I don't know anymore. I'm so confused about the. Maybe they the when they go to Ruidi and they have similar arches to the, I Sedai, ones. She goes through it. Basically, has her accepted test from the books. She comes out. And like, because I don't know, 
Moraine says, oh, these are just like the accepted test arches. It's almost like exactly the same. So they just accept that as like her accepted test. They yeah. accept, accept it. it. It's like when, you know, when you take college cl- classes in high school and you get credit for them when you go to, when oh, you go yeah. to college. <laughs> Something like that. Just like, like, the- like an AP accepted test. An A P A T. Okay. The, I think uh, the Aes Sedai are, are famous for saying, I know you did something outside the tower. That's good enough. <laughs> but Moraine's the one who says, no, no, trust me. It's good. <laughs> Just like that. Yo, I believe him, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then Elida goes, yeah, yo, I believe him. <laughs> that's a lie to there doing that or, or swan maybe i don't know <laughs> oh man okay i have yeah i got nothing it's got to be a, it's got to be something to do with i'm gonna say um her keeper in a dream with a capital d that's what i'm gonna do all right i'm going a little a little different from you guys keep keep it a little original right what if Egwene and Egwene and Matt go to Tenshiko and then Egwene and Matt go through the arches together and then they end up together in Rydian and they both help Brand? No, we yeah. know that Egwene goes to the Waste. We do? Yeah, I feel like something a while back, we, we got something with like her filming scenes like in on like a set she she i think i think she had made mention of the fact that like the third season she explores other things like she made like very veiled references to like season three being no. something like you know that she would she would she's growing in the power and now she's going to grow in other ways yeah. yeah, I I feel like there's something though more concrete that we got, like some some sort of evidence of her, like she was spotted on a set like that that um oh, you know I'm the set sure. yeah, you know yeah. the set photos that we saw with that looked like, like uh, a cold rocks. Yeah. I feel like we have some sort we heard something about her like on that set or something like that. So that's all I'm saying. So I think she's okay. going to the waste. All right, so I'm going a little different than you. I'm going to say Egwin's keeper in a dream. Okay. She could be, yeah, I was going to say Elida's Keeper in a Dream, but that doesn't make any sense. All right, Rebecca Root, we got you down. Next up, we have Bjorn Landberg. Bjorn Landberg. Fine Italian. Uh, I love this guy because his original, he changed his name to Bjorn Landberg. His original name was Kevin Krauss. What? Yeah, he changed his name to Engelbert Humperdinck. Yes, <laughs> to Bjorn Landberg, which is a kind of Kevin cool name, but it's just like such an odd yes. name to change your name to. At least for me, I don't know, maybe. Anyway, um, so That's where you live, he was in South Africa filming. Mm. He has a musical background. Mm. He is exceptionally tall at about six foot six, I believe. So, I'm gonna put. The South Africa and the six foot six together. And I know a lot of people are thinking Asmodian. Maybe Asmodian's going to be an Aielman just to kind of, I don't know, fit him in there better. I have no idea. A minstrel Aielman. Tom's, Tom's yeah. laughing really, really hard. Sorry, Wolf Brother put something in, com- in, in chat and it's, I lost it. I apologize. Wolf Brother, I didn't see. Oh, no spoiler. Oh, in the no spoiler oh. chat. No, <laughs> Dinkelberg humped you back. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> you changed it to Latrine? <laughs> you speak <me> shit else. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, I know man. a lot of people think it's Modian. It's possible. Maybe they make Asmodian uh, an Ielman, uh, you know, a, a musical Ielman. I don't know, just to kind of fit it into the story better. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say Bjorn Landberg is, hmm, it's either Ruark or maybe uh, Bale. 
And so, he does a musical number? Who do, No, his musical background has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Communism was just a red herring. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it makes more sense than musical idol. I'm gonna I'm gonna put him down. I don't know if I if I got him as Ruark though. I don't I don't think he's Ruark. I'm gonna put him down as Bale. All right. All right. Jen, who do you got? Bjorn Landberg. Um, you already spoiled it, but I have Asmodian. Oh, okay. Is he? Do you, are you buying into my Asmodian? Is Ayil in the show? No, I'm absolutely not. So he's just there. happens to be really tall, and he's going to be just as tall as a lot of the yeah. Ayil. Yeah. How tall is he? Six six. Oh boy. He's not Other just like a little tall, tall. I guess. He's very tall. It's a lot but of he's tall. supposed to be like a little threatening. So it's good that he's tall. Okay. He should. How tall is Yosha? Like six, two or three? Two? I think six, yeah. two, yeah. yeah. So you don't want to be shorter than Yosha unless he's playing Samael. Everyone should be shorter than Yosha. Yosha should be like this, like one of the tall. I, I know, but he's like. Except when they get to the, with the Aiel. Then a man. Yeah, then he's hanging out with Bale. And I feel like Bale like, is really know. tall, right? He's like always described. Bale's really tall. It's like, yeah. it's, he's like 6'10 or something like that. Just picturing like, feet. you know, like Larry Bird as Bale. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's about the right age now, right? <laughs> Larry I think Bird's old. Yeah, Bale's old, isn't he? I don't know if he's like 70 old. <laughs> Um, I have Ms. Ruark. I think, other than the fact that he's got like a shock of white hair, I think he looks very much like Ruark to me. Um, and uh, Ruark always reminds me of uh, Stilgar from from Dune. Yeah, and yeah, of this guy, this guy has that vibe as well. So, Tom, you were right on the nose, six ten, with Bale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's listed at no age for him though. Um, he does have three sons. They don't mention anything about grandkids, though. So this guy oh, is oh, not they're, they're, old. No, I thought he was old. He's like no, your he's age. Old. Oh, is he? I thought young. he might have been in. His, I thought he was like in his early fifties. Says nineteen eighty. Oh uh, yeah, look at that. Uh, yeah. It's just yeah. the hair. <laughs> Meg Moss points out that Bale just got married to Melaine, so and she's uh, pregnant, so he's probably not that old. But it, he already has three sons. It says I have here. Yeah. I'm not not that oh, he's yeah he was married to Dorinda yeah not that he's young here. but he's probably just not that old no he's not Larry Bird old yeah okay maybe somebody else maybe Dirk Nowitzki LeBron James no 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 LeBron James is still playing basketball it has to be somebody who's retired oh uh, that's a good point yeah, he's busy right now <laughs> he's he's very right now he's busy yes let's let's be realistic all right. <laughs> Dial it down a notch. Dirk Nowitzki is much better chance of being um, Bale than That's LeBron true. James. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> From 0. 0.00 to 0. 0.001. Yeah, it's a big difference. It's going to shock you when LeBron shows up. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have a cameo like Ed Sheeran. I, I will be shocked. <laughs> He's just... <laughs> <laughs> is he like huge fan he's a huge fan does he like dunk a trollic or something i don't know oh my lord Gosh. uh yeah let's do it anyway should we move on to the next person so we've got three we got three different people here so yeah i would say for t only two of them did we yeah. oh no this is the third one where we all have different people this that's interesting very interesting a lot of dissent here it's gonna be fun to see who uh who gets the most right i think jen you won last time I think I did too, but I don't see any like I don't think I added notice of that on yeah. the uh I'll have to file. go back and do that. Give me your... <laughs> well I, I marked I, I marked <laughs> I don't see any like you know Fair nicely worded uh letters to me. <laughs> no, I did highlight the ones though that were right and wrong. So Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to our next person. This is uh Olaminde Olorunfemi. Apologies. Joe's back. <laughs> Olumide. I have no problem. There's with the no N. Olumide. Uh, Olumide. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Olumide. Oloran. Oloran Femi. Femi. All right. I'm not going to say that one again. 
That's okay. tough. All right, this Still one late. was reported by John from What Up, um, and he reported that Olamide, Olamide was going to be playing Ispan. Ispan, one of the black sisters in um, Leandrin's Cabal. Uh, you want to? Uh, are we are we all with the Ispan on this one? Yeah, I see no reason to doubt John. Is there any dissension, Jen? No. She's very young looking, though. Um, I don't know how old is she. I don't know. I don't know. But it's fine. I, I believe it's fine. She's nice to She'd she, still be like forty. She is very young. She's got like a two on kind of like two on young, right? Like she looks like she could be like seventeen. Yeah. Although I don't know how old this picture. Oh, this picture's from last year. <laughs> could be just the shot too. Anyway, um, Ispan, so it seems very likely, and it makes a lot of sense that we get her, right? We are going by season four, a uh, book four storyline. Aes Sedai, Black Sisters escaping. Rafe made mention about the first, whatever, ten minutes of the show being bonkers with women shredding each other. Um, that's probably some sort of battle in the White Tower, and then them leaving. Uh, Ispan being among them with Joya. Um, what? Here's a thought. What if Joya stays in the tower and she's like, you know, one of the undercover black sisters, but like we know about, like the audience knows about her, right? Would it make, would it make sense to have at least one sister that we know the audience knows is blacks in the tower? Um, I don't think so. I, I, yeah, I, it, it would make sense, but I don't know. I don't know why her, as opposed to anybody else, I guess. No, I'm not saying it has to be her. I was just thinking um, if we get that. Like, when do we find out that Alviarin's black? Do we know that? Yeah. It's when we first in, meet her? It's in, it's in four. It's in, right? Isn't it? When, when she catch, captures Fane? Let's him go. Don't you realize she's black then? Because she's the one when Fane goes to get the dagger. That's five? Is it book five? No, Fane arrives, I think, in this. No, she's already it, it might be five. She's already definitely it's five. She's already definitely the armorlin at the point that he shows up. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, it's might. after it's after the two rivers. I think it's I think it's Five. So yeah, I think that's when you find out. I think. I don't know if it's definite there, but I think it's it's pretty clear because she doesn't she lets him go. Um interesting. She was also one of the um Baldara sisters, at least in the books. That's I think when we first hear her name. Hmm. Oh, she's yeah. Remember, she also gives Nynaeve and Egwene lessons in channeling on their way back to the tower from Faldara, because yeah. she's one of the black sisters, right? Because most of the sisters yeah. are black sisters. Yeah. Um. Interesting. Interesting. All right. No dissent here. We got Ispan. All of us. Let's move on. We've got Eclair Dunn. So Claire Dunn, uh, she was revealed in May of 2023 in an interview with Goss.ie, it's a website, um, and was quoted as saying uh, that she was filming a little role on Wheel of Time, for, or I don't know, I guess on Wheel of Time for Amazon. That doesn't really make much sense, but whatever. I might have, there might be a typo on my part. Looks like it was removed from the article, though, because when I went back to look at the article to find the quote, I couldn't find it. So I don't know if they updated mm -hmm. the article or or what. Um, Get that out of there. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't have a name for her at all. No clues as to, except that May she was filming, which is early on. That's Prague stuff. So White Tower, Two Rivers, um, Camelin, mm. all of that stuff was probably filmed, filmed there. Maybe some indoor stuff in Tanchico, potentially. I don't know. 
I had her probably too big of a character since she said she's filling a little role, but I had her as a Ganon. Oh. But I don't know. I feel like she's probably just like a, like an innkeeper or something. I don't know. But you could put a Ganon in there for me. Well, she was on a, a TV show for a while. Like a, she had a, like a, a mainstay role on a, what was the show? Uh, Kin. Okay. Um, I'd say that's that's the biggest thing I see on here, though. So you're right; she could just be like a lady in waiting for the queen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about yeah, you? I Tom? had her. I had her as. Um, I had her as the other Aes Sedai in the flashback with Old Latra. Other Aes Sedai. I don't remember what the Aes Sedai's name is. Uh, and I didn't look it up because I'm lazy. But um, yeah, the the the, the other the other I said I didn't see. Okay, right, because they have that conversation about uh, right um, about Calendor. That's right. All right. Um, oh yeah, I know who you're talking about. Uh, is it some? Isn't she? I thought we had that character come up though. Do we? Well, then I'm wrong. Didn't, I feel like we talked about that character recently. Images. We saw images. We said, like, those were those two people. That, what could uh, they be doing? Uh, oh, okay. I don't know if we know who they were. They were, like, from far away. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go with, uh, yeah, uh, royal royal palace maid. <laughs> or or la lady in waiting. Like, uh, you know. Right. For the queen. She's like her handmaid or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's what I got. Little, little roll. And the Wheel of Time for Amazon. <laughs> All right. Shall I move on to the next one? Mm -hmm. Sure. All right. Next up, we have Raksha Hoost. Raksha Hoost. And Sorry. she, I know, I'm looking at Rebecca Root and Raksha Hoost, and I kept thinking when I was doing this that I put the same person twice. But I hope Raksha they, uh, Hoost sounds like, Rebecca, like no, what looks, a foreign DJ would say in a club <laughs> when they're about to drop the beat. Raksha Hoost? Raksha Hoost! They look and alike, then, though, like if you look at them. Um... <laughs> With your eyes, her her CV That's has her in the eyes. show. So right, this is <laughs> this one was directly from her CV, and she has a character name listed as Cheyenne. Hmm. Lady Cheyenne, we know is uh, Millie Skein, right? So she is in the Shadow Rising, right? She is that where the the Black Sisters are staying in Tanchico. At Lady Cheyenne's? Um, I don't think so. No? <laughs> no. Isn't that where Jacob Carradine stays when they're in Ibuda? Or she visits him in the house when they're in Ibuda? Cheyenne's and Andor in, in, in Andor and Noble. So it wouldn't be their house in, in yeah. Tan Chico. Um, I thought, don't they stay at somebody's house? They do. So she murders she murders the real Lady Cheyenne. Okay. Right. Let's I would takes on right. her right her, assumes her identity. Uh Ibu Dar. That's yeah. where she is. It's where Matt sees her at the races. Yeah, but she's working with Caridin. Right. And if Caradine's yes. going to be in Tanchico. Yeah, she could be there with him. <laughs> We're all There's a lot of, a lot of know, just deep really thought are. happening there. So, was, Joe, are you saying. I was reading about Millie's Kane, sorry. So, you're saying that you believe that. 
that Cheyenne here is going to be Millie Skane. So I'll make sure. That, yeah, yes, I think that. she's going to be a dark friend um, that we that we meet in Tanchico. My guess is that she that's where the black sisters are going to be staying. Okay. With her. Caridin will probably be in. Aren't the White Cloaks in the Panarch's Palace? Yeah. Right. So he'll or be out right outside. Yeah, yeah. I think thought they've taken up residence there, but I don't yeah, remember. They might. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think then that he'll be there. Cheyenne will be the Black Sisters will be staying with Lady Cheyenne, a uh, notorious murderous dark friend. Does does <laughs> Cheyenne kill somebody in season three? If you're right, then the I would say no. Okay. If you're right, I think that the, that that this is just like a oh, we'll just use a a dark friend's name from the books. Gotcha. Jen, your thoughts? Anything? Uh, you you're with the Lady Cheyenne? Yeah, I I I had Claire Dunn as Millie Skeen until I saw. I didn't even notice that it said Cheyenne before, so I switched it. But, um, yeah, well, this makes sense. Just moving that to uh, Tanchico. All right. Putting it with the bad guys. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. Uh, shall we move we'll on? Say she, she, oh, what? She, does, she does look almost nothing like how I pictured Millie Skane to look, but no. that's fine. Just a rock shahoost. I don't even have a picture of her. Is she? Oh wait, there's there's a picture of her in the uh, in the article, right? That Watt series posted. I believe so. Yes. Yeah, rock shahoost. Um. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's see. How is Millie Skane described? She's about five four, sharp featured but pretty. Sharp featured. Her face is delicate but vulpine. Glossy brown hair. Uh, hangs below her shoulders, big brown eyes. There was no warmth in her face, etc. etc. I don't think there's anything that directly counters. No, no, I just think it, that she's, yeah. I don't think Raksha Hoos, I wouldn't describe her as sharp featured or Volpine. Um, yeah, not Volpine, she does have some sharp features, though. All right, her chin, maybe jaw. We were looking at different photos. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's move on to the next person. Uh, we've got Teresa or Teresa Descova. Mm. All right. So she was, um, uh, this was on her CV. Director Thomas Knapper was listed, who's directing the second block, episodes three and four. She was spotted in South Africa and on her CV her character is listed as Migran. Mm. Now, Migran mm. is a Dash Shane Ail mm. from the uh, Age of Legends. And I believe she p- appears in Rand's uh, journey through the uh, glass columns. I believe you're right. I'll look that up quick. Now, um, we're, I'm assuming neither of you are going against the name Migran. Mm-hmm. Do you believe yeah. this character to be playing that character, though the Dashain Ayel from the flashbacks in the Crystal Columns? Yes. Tom? Yeah, sure. I don't have. I have, I have, uh-huh. I have no reason to disbelieve it. Well, sometimes they use the d- names. Um, you know, a little differently. Interesting, though, that they. They decided to keep this name Migran when they also they already have a Migan or had or had a Migan. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, the, the name might change. Like they've done that before. They've recorded with one name, filmed with one name, and then changed it in post. So if it is confusing to people or some producer doesn't like it, I'm sure they'll just you know dub out her name. And they could call her Migran. Yeah. <laughs> and then it sounds totally different. It's completely different. Yeah. Completely different. All right. I'm going to move up to our next one. Ooh, this one. Okay. There's 
I think we'll, we'll probably end on these last. These four or three are connected. They're actually connected mm-hmm. with uh, Teresa. They all been mm-hmm. seen uh, with her, Teresa Descova mm-hmm. in Cape Town. Um, so these are suspected actors, though. So they're not really sure if they were just kind of hanging out or they're actually in the show. So we'll start with the first one, uh, Kieran Kabaili Dwyer. Kieran Kabaili Dwyer. I don't have names for any of these, but I feel like I know what they are. Okay, you don't think you need a name. It's just like a person from the... I yell flashback in the columns where when they become... I guess when they uh, take up arms and split from the regular I yell. Yeah. Yeah. I think <laughs> so it, fla- the best flashback bet- I yell. Like Tinker. Yeah. Yeah. yeah these are, these are the, uh, this is, this is the, the beginning I of the, yeah. the spear, you know? Right. Do, do, so is this a, um, is this a Dashain I yell or, a, or a I yell a, a, like a modern I yell? It's it's well, Dashain Ayil, what they were, in the yeah, beginning. before they picked up the sword. So, this is when they split, yeah, this is like the moment of like the story of how they picked up the swords and then okay, does Dash does but kicked out of the the clan. So, this is one of the Ayil who picks up a sword or spear, I should say. Yes. They don't pick up a sword, but... yes, yeah, okay. Uh, Ayil, okay, how about you, Tom? Yeah, I agree. I think that, you know, this is my, my game is the uh, Aiel who gets kidnapped and they like Lewin goes to rescue her with some of the other ones. Mm. And they, in the, in the rescue attempt, they pick up a spear mm-hmm. and they get, you know, banished by the, the gen. Uh, and um, yeah, I think that, that these, these four characters are, are, are uh, actors telling that part of the story. All right, random flashback. I yell. Um, so yeah, well, I'll, one just... the, I, I'll say the last, the last one, uh, the last actor on our list. We didn't name them all yet, but I'm gonna, I think that's going to, gonna, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Ferdinand, very Ferdinand McKay. I think he'll be Lewin. Okay, so yeah, there's Kieran Kabali Dwyer, who we were just talking about. There's Diana Dolinkova. And then there's Ferdinand McKay, all again seen with uh, Teresa Descova in Cape Town. Um, these are suspected actors on the show. Uh, right. Not not so confident that they are definitely on the show. Um, I, you know, I take it back though. Yeah, I don't think it'll be Lewin, right? Because right, I think we we've, we've heard that 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 Rand is probably going to be his ancestor in the flashbacks. All right. Oh uh, yeah, we so, can talk about that. So like that that then. Um, Rand would be Lewin, I guess, in that in that sense. So just uh, so they're all flashback. I yell. Yeah, Jen, same with you. Yeah, I have crystal columns. I yell for all these guys. Okay. I'm gonna try to think outside the box for this one. Go for it. So so, Teresa Teresa Descova had Thomas Napper listed as a director. That doesn't necessarily mean. No. That um that he was uh, the director on the but it, let's just say he was right so we're talking episodes three and four of the season mm-hmm. right now mm. we ha- we have the episode titles um but we don't know the order of them True. but we do know the order of the writers. Okay. So this is Be- yes. Beverly, uh, Beverly Okio and Rafe are directing uh, our writers of episodes three and four, respectively. We think episode four could potentially be the whole Ruridian scene because mm-hmm. Rafe decided that, you know, that's the episode he wants to do. Um, I think we're just coming up with more evidence that these people are probably flashback. I know, right? <laughs> Probably- yeah, I feel like what you've what you've done is <laughs> built the box stronger. <laughs> we have. Well, as long as we've gotten to some sort of conclusion that has a lot of good supporting evidence behind it, um, then I'm fine with that. 
I'm going to put them all back as flashback I yell as well. Um, Various sides. One of them could be a bandit. Let's uh, let's make Ferdinand McKay. Actually, he's going to be the the, the bandit, right? They they get attacked by bandits and one of them Uh, kidnapped, right? Okay, I thought you meant like uh, he's going to be Burt Reynolds. No, no, not no. Okay, so I'm going to go off on Ferdinand McKay. He's going to be the bandit. He's he's a bad dude. The other two are flashback. I yell. Uh, I like it. All right. It's bold. All right. I'm going to do, let's see. I got a couple more here before uh, we can cut it off and save the, save the rest for another episode. We've got Carmela Bonomi. Carmela Bonomi. Now this was a recent one that we talked about. Uh, what series had found her. Uh, it was on her CV. Uh, Marta Cunningham was listed as the director who we suspect is episodes five and six. Um, and Carmela is our first sea folk. Although I saw someone recently post that there was sea folk in Tarvalon in season one. Um, really? Yeah, apparently in the background, like they just saw our sea folk. Oh. Uh, Carmela Bonomi, though, uh, Jorin Din Jubai. Jorin Din Jubai. Dubai. She's the um she's the the uh wave mistress. No, not the wave windfinder, yeah. sorry. She's the windfinder yes. on the ship that takes Elaine and Nynaeve and Tom and Julin from Tier 2 Tanchico. Mm-hmm. In episodes what'd you say, five and six? Five, six. Yep, that's what assuming we're thinking. that the assuming that the that's the right director. That's what we're thinking. Oh man! Yeah, and I yeah. Now she doesn't have to be doing that same task. Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah she does. Don't make our lives harder. Well, you're that, that, you that fits upset. It, and that fits. No, because I can't believe that they're not going to Tanchico until episodes five or six. They don't. Nec- that's why I'm saying she doesn't necessarily need to do the same thing. Maybe they see- meet her there and have a conversation with her. No. When they're looking for whatever they're looking for. I don't or maybe so. somebody else uses it. Maybe Tom and uh, Min sh- and Matt show up from a sea folk ship after going somewhere else, or I don't know, going to Camelin first, maybe. No, the girl. The girls are gonna. We, we already talked about this. The girls gonna be at the tower for a while. They're gonna be. There's gonna be relationships with Galad and Gowan at the tower. That's true. They're gonna leave again. That's so, true. Yeah. This will be all. This will all be after the Black Aja leaves. Yeah. Yeah. This'll I be, mean, it could this be. This will be. Uh, it's 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 Swan's last mistake. Sending Elaine out again. I thought you were going to say the, the Sea Folk. Swan's last mistake. Everybody's mistake. mistake. R- Rafe's last mistake. Putting a Sea Folk <laughs> in the show. Stop. No. Make more mistakes, Rafe. <laughs> All right. Does anybody think she's not Jorin in Dubai? No. All right. Moving on. We've got. Here's another one that was already uh, we already have a name for. This one was brought to you by John from What Up, uh, Isabella Bucari. Listed or he shared uh, was uh, Fail. Yep, Isabella Bucari Bucari Fail. I'm on board with the Fail train. I mean, she's she looks like a Fail to me. Agreed. Uh, very Fail looking. Um, do you think, Tom, do you think this is Fayel as well? Yeah, I think, you know, I think it's, uh, I think, I think it's a good look. Yeah. So I was thinking, right. Um, so she's Italian, but uh, maybe she's, uh, British by way of Italy. I forget something like that. Um, so maybe, you know, what are the odds that the Saudi culture is going to be all Italians? Maybe, maybe we can get 
Robert De Niro as Davron Bashir. I thought you were going to say Tony Danza. <laughs> Italians definitely uh, yell at each other. And so that would work, too. No, wait. It'd have to be a small, small, a uh, Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci's Ralph 80. <laughs> Ralph Macchio. Ralph Macchio as Davron Bashir. I love it. Do it. Do it. Put it down right now. Man. Or do we get like some real hardcore Italian actors? Yeah. Get, um... He's not Italian enough for you. The guy He's Italian American. Uh, the guy who played think, uh, oh, like an Italian, like a real Italian person. Yeah, like someone from Italy. <laughs> uh, I'm blanking on the act. What's the actor's name? Um, he's probably about, too old now. What about too. the guy who played Furio from The Sopranos? I don't know. What about the, you had a pony the guy job. from? Uh, I don't know if this guy's Italian actually. From Ocean's Twelve. I don't that guy's telling the night the, Fox? He's French. He's French. He's French. Oh, I haven't Vincent seen it in a long Cassell? time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a that's, same thing. That's, Come that's on, that's a bad one. It's not a good no, one. I, know. I, I put that out of my head. Um, that one. Uh, Danny know. DeVito, thank you. A uh, light blinded fool as Davron Bashir. As Davron Bashir. No, let's do it. Danny DeVito should be on the show, but not as Davron Bashir. He could be Hadnan Kadir. Oh, he could. Oh my God, he would be really good. Hagen and Kier. I was gonna say he could be also be. Um, Val and Luca. I said Meg. Meg is pretty. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guy? Uh, Shout out, two Haram. different guys. I always get mixed up. Like not Balwer. Who's the guy that makes like all the the creations and gets murdered horribly? Her Herod, like, Herod Fell. Herod Fell. Fell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Danny. I mean, he's he's got a wide range. He could play. He has a wide range. <laughs> If see, I'm thinking of Val Luca. Did you ever see the meme where it's like Tim Burton calls Danny DeVito and he's just like, I'll get my top hat. <laughs> Every movie wears a top hat. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. I got one more here uh, for us. Uh, a okay. DM. This one's this one they discovered a while ago. So yeah. this is DM Camille. I thought this was wrong. I thought so she was in season two well she was like revealed. we've been following her so long yeah she was revealed to us uh with other cast for season two right uh what series had shared uh her being part of the show with nyla alia who plays uh adelius right joelle right. who's joya and uh nayakabi gathaiga who plays rima so dean camille was in that group but they're still confident that she is in season three. Um, Who played the um when they're out training the Lily Banda? The money. Was the, the soldat, mm -hmm. like the head oh, soldat. Yeah, yeah. I think okay, that was Lily right. Banda. Uh, yeah, you're right. Maybe okay. That's why I think if, for some reason I get those two people confused. Okay. Yeah. So do you? Um, yeah, DM Camille. That there's no clues as to who she could be playing. They, there's no clues as to when she was there. Only that she. They, they, I mean, this article was written in May of 2023, which was they started filming in April of 2023. So my guess is, um, she was filming around that time potentially. Okay. So again, that's Prague stuff. Uh, Two Rivers. White Tower, uh, well, you know, Camelin, potentially some other indoor stuff. Oh, then I'm wrong. Uh, I'm not saying you're not, but uh, <laughs> I'm not saying you're, I'm not saying you're not, saying you're not. you are. <laughs> because you're wrong. I, because I don't have, I don't, I don't know who you, who you have. So, well, I also have her, Jen, as somebody who is likely not indoors. No, like maybe out on the open sea. Are you kidding me? Are we having the same person again? I just put sea folk. I don't have oh, oh, like okay. a name. Oh, give me a good. Give me more of a description have, than just have, sea folk. Unless I, you I'll think go she's first. A, I, I, uh, okay, Tom. Go I, ahead. I have Cohen Dinjubai, who's the wave mistress of the ship. Co how do you spell that one? C O I N E. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Now yeah, let me say. Let now, me Jen, the name. You don't what? necessarily have to. Give me a specific name, but like if you think she's just going to be an unnamed Aiel, then that's uh, sorry, Seafolk, then I'll just put Seafolk, unnamed Seafolk. Um, yeah, you named the two people. 
in Shadow Rising. We already have Jorin. And Tom said Cohen. Two sisters. Um, hold on. Yeah, I think the only other one you know is the the. Uh, Let's see. Whatever they oh, call the Blade Master, it. whatever it is. Um. Blade. Wave no wave dancers is the ship. Yeah, the guy. The I'm playing on the guy. Ah. Uh, what they call the title? And Windfinder. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, why can't you just be a, an unnamed sea folk? That's what I want her to be. Okay, unnamed sea yeah. folk. No, she's not a. I'm going Let's big. See. Oh my god! I'm gonna say that she is. Um, who is the? Is it Rena? Is that the sea folk? Harina, right? Harina. Harine. Harine. Thank you. <laughs> she's the one who's not the. Wave mistress. She's the one I think who is destined to become the, the mistress of the ships. Mistress of the ships. Yeah, that's what like she does in the, not in the series, but like that's her prophet. Like I think Min tells her she'll she'll be that. Yes, that's who I'm going to say. I'm going big. She makes the bargain and gets dropped down to the bottom of like the ranking. Yeah, yeah. That's Harine. Harine. That's who I'm putting here. Harine. So we okay. all went sea folk. We all right. went sea folk. I don't know why. I just I guess I got sucked into it because you all said sea folk. Um, just because we said Yo. she's it's May, but I mean maybe she goes maybe she, the Sea Folk ship takes the girls from the White Tower to Tanchico. It does. In my head, okay. it, yes, I think I think it does, and I think I also think like the Wave Mistress could be in her quarters and doesn't like that's a set, you yeah. know. So it's in the studios. It's not actually shot on a ship yeah it's not, it's not yeah. yeah the whole the whole ship is probably a set you know, yeah like but sometimes the, those are it's like a wide shot of like a cgi ship they're not gonna yes um the outside yes. is probably a set too yeah nailed it nailed it done all right that's uh i think we'll wrap it up here We've gone through half of the names. We've still got another 15 or 16 left to go. Um, I think we'll save them for another episode. Lashback Aiel is my new band name. Lashback Aiel. <laughs> oh, wow. We went really long. Yeah, well, don't worry, Joe. When you cut out all the awkward silences, yeah. it's going to be a really short episode. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize we'd been talking this long. It seemed like we, we hadn't been talking very long, which is kind of odd. Yeah, it was interesting. You said okay we're gonna do these three yeah and then kept going. we did them <laughs> and you're like okay let's do a few more i was like really you know what it was it, it looked like it was still early and then it must have took us a really long time to get to these last few or i just miss i kind of misjudged how many like an extra three would take <laughs> um so did a bad job there but i apologize now um this is a great place to wrap it up I want to say something before we go into our usual spiel. We are very close to a thousand subscribers on our YouTube channel, which is kind of cool. We're 31 away. We're at 969. So I want to urge you all that if you haven't yet, go to our YouTube page and like subscribe. I'm going to say that again. Go to our YouTube page and like and subscribe. Uh, when we hit a thousand followers, we're going to do a little celebratory live stream and we'll do some giveaways and have lots of fun. And um, I don't know. Not like tonight. We'll be very, very excited. And we will upbeat. be. We will make yeah. sure there is no, uh, you know, fluctuations in air pressure when we record the live stream so that it does not affect us. Get out the barometer and make sure. It could just be like, there's a lot of thunder, man, and it's waking me up. I don't know. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. We're going to go back and check, though. Anyway, go. <laughs> go to our YouTube page. I got the barometer page. ready. Yeah. <laughs> go to our YouTube page, like and subscribe. Um, share it. With your friends, if you know anybody who doesn't follow us, we post um, almost all the episodes on YouTube. Plus, there's other cool stuff on there, like our song parodies. And uh, I got to finish putting out the rest of the uh, season one episode recaps. I'll get to it, though. I'll get to it. Some other clips and stuff like that. So go check that out. Do that for us. Uh, we're looking forward to celebrating 
um, with you. So also, I want to remind everyone to follow us on social media. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Join us over in Discord to continue the conversation there. Uh, rate and review us wherever you listen to podcasts and check out our merchandise and Patreon pages to support us that way. Links to all the aforementioned information are not included in the show notes because there's nothing to include. Um, so scratch that from the record. Uh, Tom, Jen, any final words? Uh, no. You really got in my head with this air pressure thing now, Tom. <laughs> It's affecting yeah, sorry. me. Sorry. Be careful out there, everyone. Yeah. It's stormy out there, folks. <laughs> Thanks, Get everyone, some sleep. for listening. And you'll hear us next time.